MPBN. Now more than ever. A lot of what you perform, I've been looking at your repertoire list, and of course we've talked before, is of contemporary composers. How does that play a role in in your identity as a chamber ensemble? It's huge. It it is it is it is big. I mean, one of the 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 things that we when we first started playing together was outside of a few pieces that we definitely know are originally written for this ensemble. What else is there? One of the the biggest challenges I think that happens when you're playing contemporary music is really decoding the vocabulary of what that language is. Because when you get right down to it, music's really music. I mean, you still have to, sh- you know, you still have to have a line, you still have to shape a phrase, you still have to be able to balance the various parts that are going on. You have to and, and create solidity. Uh, but the, it's the vocabulary of each individual's composer's language mm-hmm. that is the is the biggest challenge for us. And I think that's been some of one of the, the neatest things, especially when you're when the composer's alive and in the same room with you. Right. You really get a chance to really work with that person and really help them bring what has been in their head all this time, finally got to paper and now is being translated into sound. It's a very exciting process. Yeah. What else are we going to hear today? Well, next, next we have uh, another piece written expressly for us by Martin Rokich. We needed a piece to premiere at Symphony Space in New York, and I asked him if he would write something for us, and he agreed. And now it's a piece that um, is very much in rotation for us. I mean, we, we've been playing it quite a while. Uh, mm-hmm. We enjoy it very much. And this is what Matt was talking about earlier, just the, the having the opportunity to work with a living composer um, is very, very rewarding. Um, Marty came to New York twice to work with us. Mm-hmm. Um, we workshopped the first performance, I think, in February, and he came and we, we rehearsed with him. And he made some changes, mm-hmm. and then he came back for the premiere, and we worked a little bit more with him. But by then, it was pretty much set. So It, it is interesting, though. Marty is a, a guitarist by, of his own right, and a lot of the techniques through this, part of what we had to deal with and workshop with him was some of the pizzicato techniques are not as friendly to bowed string instruments as they are to guitar because the guitar strings are softer. They, you can pull them and, and chord a little bit differently. And so that was a learning curve both for, I think, for Matt yeah. and I as well as for Marty to maybe change a little bit of how he had it expected in his ear. Right. And the name of the piece is Going Up, right? Because it goes up. <laughs> <laughs>